I said it before, I called it. I said AJ should win, he's the favourite as he was. Yeah, yeah. I also said, don't be surprised. You heard it here first on Frost Chum Fighting. You heard it here first on Frost Chum Fighting. You dumbass. If when Daniel Dubois tumps him upside that head, you're gonna have the same response to what he had when he fought Andy Ruiz. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, they're two heavyweight fighters, right? It's like, I don't know, you know, I had a look at Dubois backstage and sometimes you can just get a feel for it. What? Um, AJ did that ring walk. I'm looking at him and I'm like, okay, is he super focused still or is he super nervous? First of all, you gazing into two separate man's eyes in the same night so deeply to the point where you could feel it and the other one, you could tell which emotions they're going through. That's crazy in itself. No, did it. But do your thing, pimpin. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, NGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We are fresh off of the spectacular, phenomenal, brutal butt whooping that Dubois just put on Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? And I told you in the last video after we after we recapped the whole event, right, in its entirety, I told you that we are going to do a follow-up video in regards to what Anthony Joshua should do next. Should he retire like a lot of people are saying or whatever he should do, let's discuss it. And as promised, here is the discussion here, you know what I'm saying? So it's just funny to me, man, because a lot of people are extra hard on AJ right now. Coincidentally, it's a lot of the same people that actually picked him to win. You know, so I just, I just want to say that I want to cover that and I want to give a disclaimer right now because I'm about to go pretty hard on these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Pause. Um, but I want to give a disclaimer. I do respect a lot of these experts and, and, and analysts. I don't think there's anything we get in, get, get in a prediction wrong because this is boxing. There's a category called upset of the year and it happens. However, I do think there's something wrong with fully grown adult men that so openly and blatantly lack accountability you know what i'm saying so i think it's very audacious of them to act like they know everything when they clearly got something wrong so we're going to just discuss that man so let's talk about aj first man. i think aj has a lot of options man i think that he, he could retire if you would like to he could also go on to fight the other fighters that lost like a philip hergovich like a frank sanchez like a jerry big baby anderson you know like like a arslana beg or even like a deontay wilder i don't want that fight i think wilder should retire it, me personally because he does not look the same. He does not look capable of protecting himself or harming the individual. Nobody could look at Wilder's fights, whether you like him or not, and think that he's the same guy, man. So I think when you're not the same guy, then maybe you should take a step back for the sport before you have, you know, before you sustain some, some significant injuries because boxing is brutal, you know, and, and you want to keep your faculties after boxing. But let's talk about AJ. Those are some of the options that he has, including retirement. But let's talk about what he did and what he accomplished in the ring, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, so his last four fights, he beat Jermaine Franklin by decision. He beat Robert Hellenius by knockout. He stopped Otto Wallin and he, and, he, and he dropped a brutal, impressive knockout on Francis Ngannou, even though he's not a fighter. He, sorry, he's a fighter. He's a phenomenal fighter. He's not a boxer. You know, it still looked great as an impressive victory for boxing. Those are his last four opponents before he fought Daniel Dubois. So that's still there, right? And even after Daniel Dubois, does he not beat those same opponents? I think the answer would be an emphatic yes. You know, also... Anthony Joshua still has power, you know. He demonstrated that in the aforementioned fights. And he also demonstrated that coincidentally in his last fight, despite losing, by hurting Dubois. So he hurt Dubois, you know. And plus, power is one of the last things to go, right? Everybody, every boxing expert knows that. So those are two things that he still has intact, and which is these two things are probably primarily why you picked them in the first place, you know. And also, too, we also want a fighter to demonstrate heart. And he did that by getting up. Each and every time he was knocked down, even the last one that stopped the fight, he was trying to get up. You know what I'm saying? So that's my point. So he, he, he showed massive heart, the heart of a lion. So he still has the same strengths and the same flaws that he had going into this fight. The only difference is that he didn't win. He lost. So now that he lost, it's easy to question everything about Anthony Joshua. But all these same questions, these strengths and flaws that he had before are there now and it showed in this last fight but you didn't have a problem with it because he won but now he lost all of a sudden his flaws are are, are, are magnified right so i think that's crazy so let's start off with mr oladipo you know what i'm saying mr o <laughs> check this out what he said right here man i was like i don't know you know i had a look at dubois backstage and sometimes you can just get a feel for it what um aj did that ring walk i'm looking at him and i'm like okay is he super focused there or is he super nervous hey yo what the fuck First of all, you gazing into two separate man's eyes 
in the same night so deeply to the point where you can feel it and the other one you can tell which emotions they're going through that's crazy in itself but do your thing pimping <laughs> so it's just crazy that he knew that something was up you know the night of the fight well not even the night of the fight the moments before the fight he knew something was up even though he picked aj but on this night of the fight while they're walking to the ring and he's backstage with them he could tell that that dubois was gonna win and that anthony joshua was looking shaky he knew that he knew the result so you know he got it right even though he got it wrong in his prediction so he didn't know before all the all the months before and all the other uh fights that we saw from anthony joshua and daniel dubois he didn't know that he that, that anthony joshua was gonna lose but right before the fight coincidentally when he can't tell anybody that he knew Dubois was going to win that's what he knew that Anthony Joshua was going to lose bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit. come on bro no you didn't bro you did not know he was going to win you, you you did not know Triple D was going to win and you thought Anthony Joshua was going to lose stop it bro like like just 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 have some accountability now let's get back to Carl Frost you know shout out to Older Depot though he's a, he's a great broadcaster and commentator and all that stuff you know we all get things wrong but have accountability bro now let's go to Carl Frost you know <laughs> Carl Frotch, he's completely hating, blatantly hating, openly hating, candidly hating, bro. Like, he's not even trying to hide it at this point. And the fact that he's audacious to enough, enough to even say that, oh, he told us, so he knew, but I also said, no, you didn't also say nothing, man. Carl Frotch, you picked AJ despite your bad blood, and now due to your bad blood, you're saying that he should retire and he's terrible and all this stuff. Bro, he, and he's trying to, bro, it's so crazy that he's trying to take credit because he said, oh, what did I say? If he gets clipped, then, then, then he could lose. Oh, I called it. I said, AJ should win. He's the favorite as he was. But I also Boring. said, don't be surprised if when Daniel Dubois pumps him upside that head, we're going to have the same response to what he had when he fought Andy Ruiz. Huh? Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, they're two heavyweight fighters, right? Oh, and by the way, one of the heavyweight fighters is a champion right now, world-class heavyweight fighter. Oh, and he's a, let's say he's a boxer, a pugilist who uses his hands so he knows how to punch. Oh, by the way, he's also six foot five. Oh, all, by the way, he's a muscle-bound jock, solid as a rock. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would think if he hits anybody, they likely to have their lights put out. So that's not saying nothing, bro. Like, you, you, you don't get any credit. If there was no analysis in that. You just said, oh, if he punches him, he could, he could knock him out. No crap. Anybody on the street could say that. You know, but it's just so funny that like all of a sudden you try to take credit for that. I'm gonna give you a prime example. You know, I picked Bacoli over Jared Anderson, so I was correct. You know, I'm not always right, you know, but I do give analysis on both sides. And I tell you a path of victory for Jared B. Baby Anderson as well as Bacoli. And then I make a pick based off that analysis and breakdown. So let's go to a time where I wasn't right. You know, case in point, where I'm not always right. I'm just right a lot more times than I'm wrong. El Rayo, Valenzuela versus Esau Pippo Cruz. I got that one wrong. I told you that Rayo... In order for him to win, he's going to have to have to outpoint him because uh, Pitbull Cruz has a lot of pressure. He's a pressure fighter. He's one dimensional, but th that dimension he does exceptionally well, you know, and he's very durable and he applies pressure like few, few others before him. Right. And I said that not only do, did I tell you how Ryo could win, but I doubled down and I said, I don't think Ryo's capable of doing it because in his past, he shows a, 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 um, a tendency to want to fight. He's not going to outpoint you. He never really does that. So I didn't think he was capable of doing so. But guess what? I was wrong. And and, and 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 I sat on that, you know what I'm saying? No, did he? <laughs> I, I took that, you know? And I just think that, you know, even though I did point out a path of victory for him, and I told you how you cannot point him, I, I just humbly said, hey, man, I was wrong because I didn't think he was going to be able to do it. I thought Esau Pippo Cruz was going to be able to beat him because Ryo was incapable of executing that game plan that Robert Garcia would implement. And I was wrong. I got it wrong. No problem. But here comes Carl Frost saying, hey, you know, I picked AJ, but, you know, now that he lost... I did tell you that if Daniel Dubois punches him in the face, that he could knock him out. Shut up, bitch. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, okay, so so somebody give him the Neil deGrasse Tyson Award for the astrophysicist of the smartest person on the planet. Like, what are we doing, bro? You got it wrong. Spread that on your crumpets and eat it, bruv. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Spread that shit on your crumpets and eat it slowly, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Cause that 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 is crazy, bro. I just I just I just, I just can't stand that, man. You know, it's, it's definitely hate. It just seems like it is, he's just he's just spewing hatred and jealousy from his interactions with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua and and, and Daniel Dubois put on a great fight that neither one of them should be ashamed of. Dubois was just 
uh, 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 underestimated by everybody to the fact that they picked AJ, but they have the audacity on live TV, on live, on live broadcast, and on their platform to say that they were also right too while they were simultaneously wrong. So how about, how about this? If you're saying that AJ should retire because he lost a heavyweight fight, you know, in a fight that he was fighting back, he showed strength because he because he hurt Daniel Dubois. He demonstrated heart because he got up every time, including the last one where he just wasn't able to get get up. He didn't give up, you know, and he still has. A, and you, you would still argue that he would beat everybody that he beat prior to fighting Daniel Dubois, which is why you incorrectly and erroneously picked him to beat Dubois. If you're saying that that guy should retire, then how about you retire from from from, from pro providing ex expert analysis? I'm saying it's only fair, right? Oh, but you ain't going to do that though, right? So I want to talk say this though. I'm not mad at people saying that he should retire if you're saying it for the betterment of of Anthony Joshua and you're looking out for him. That's not looking out for him though. Neither one of those gentlemen that I just mentioned, they're not saying that to look out for AJ. They're saying that and, and, and the majority of people that are saying that he should retire because they want clicks, they want attention, they want to say, I told you so, you know? But when look, look at Nazim Ahmed, look what he said. Can Anthony Joshua come back from this? Listen, whether he can or he can't, I prefer him not to. He's done great. He won an ama amazing world titles. Listen, he should bow out gracefully. You see, and this is, and I agree with this because he's not saying that, oh, Anthony Joshua isn't capable of fighting anymore. Oh, he's trash or he's no longer good. He's a bum. He, he, he's, he's a fraud. He's saying that whether he can or he can't compete at a high level anymore, he should retire because you want to go out on top with your faculties that he did enough for the sport. He contributed to, enough to the sport. He made enough money for his family to establish generational wealth. So he's saying it from a good place. It's, you know, he's not saying it from... A, a, a place where he's comparing him to Wilder and saying he's completely shot, which is what I'm saying. I'm saying I think Wilder is shot, but even though he's though he shot, I'm not saying that he can't fight anymore from the standpoint of I never thought he was good and I'm questioning his career. I'm saying that I think Wilder should not compete anymore because he does not look the same at all against Joseph Parker. He looked like a punching bag against Zhang. He didn't even know who hit him. You know what I'm saying? So Wilder does not look the same. And I would say this though Wilder, I don't think that he beats. Definitely doesn't beat the opponents that he lost to, obviously, but he doesn't beat any of the opponents that he beat, in my opinion, before because he's no longer the same guy. That's not applicable to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, I think you would still pick him to beat everybody that he beat at this moment, just not Dubois because Dubois is that good. So just give, just, just give that up, man, and just say that Dubois is better than what we thought, man. So shout out to Ahmed, but 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 shame on everybody else trying to try to shine on, on on Anthony Joshua while he's down and kick him while he's down, bro. Like bro, like you got it wrong and that's okay. <laughs> we don't always get it right. <laughs> but when you do get it wrong show some accountability you know what i'm saying so salute to prince ahmed and salute to um uh, i also saw Pauli malignaggi and lennox lewis and others that took accountability say hey man i got this wrong you know I, you don't have to crap on somebody bro so shout out to anthony joshua i think the i think the door is still wide open for him to do whatever he wants if he wants to retire that's cool because i do salute and applaud those that retire on their own accord it doesn't let the sport retire them you know while they have their faculties attacked so i always give a salute to floyd mayweather retiring on top andre ward sog retiring on top and as free, as recently as the same card you know um uh, Josh, the Leeds Warrior Warrington, he just retired, uh, seemingly retired by putting his gloves in the middle of the canvas after losing to uh, Kakasi, right? He said, hey, man, you know, he made it seem like he's done. And I applaud that because you don't you want to keep your faculties for the next chapters that are in your life after the sport of boxing same with john gorilla Ryder. he just retired you know on top now i know they lost but when i say on top i'm saying on top is just you accomplished what you wanted to do and you made money you used the sport you didn't let the sport use you same with danny miracle man jacobs he retired on top you know with all his faculties intact that's all you want right and same with um who else just retired uh most recently danny jacobs uh um john gorilla Ryder, uh josh Oh, 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 Warrington, and also Marish Bradis in the cru cruiserweight division. He just retired too, so I applaud them. If Anthony Joshua wants to retire like that, then that's cool. But to say that he doesn't have it anymore and he never had it, and to question his whole reputation, when you indeed pick this guy to beat Daniel Dubois, who you also called a fraud and a fake champion, bro, just 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 close your eyes and go to sleep, man. <laughs> but that's all I have to say about that. But I think Anthony, what I think Anthony Joshua should do, I think he should go back to the drawing boards and you know like fight one of the fighters that also just coming off of a loss. And I think he can build his name back up. You know he does have a smaller window to do so, but I think he's capable of doing it. Now if he wants to re retire on top like Prince, uh, uh, Prince Nazim Ahmed has suggested, I think that he's cool with doing that too. So I think it's it's whatever he wants to do, man. So shout out to Anthony Joshua, a big salute to David Dubois for for winning and up uh, and upsetting and spoiling everybody's initial plans to the point where they're trying to come back and say oh i didn't really say that you know i really said that he was gonna win shame on y'all man i appreciate y'all rock with me as always y'all remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing and the doctor's out that's why you're rock with me because i keep it funky all day baby peace
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets